Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. On Races of the World this week, uh, first and foremost, let me let me apologize for being so long getting back to, the, to this venue. Way too many things on the go, and if you've been keeping up with the videos, we ended up getting very much into routine, but we've got to get back to dealing with this. The, the reality behind races of the world is everything when I talk, when I come on the, on the ET connection to, tonight from 9 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on, on the internet on spacedoutradio.com. The races that I talk about, the, the, the questions that people ask me through the chat rooms, the answers I give are based on personal first-hand experience. So when I get asked questions like, have you heard about such and such? Sometimes I have, but I don't research any of it. So I really have gone through very little of the researching. Okay, every once in a while I'll catch wind of something that is reported out there. Much as I can take a look at a video and tell you whether what is being represented is real, I cannot uh, speak to the veracity of the video. Okay, like I was, I was shown one the other day where they asked if this race was real. Okay, now I cannot speak to the, to the video's veracity. I cannot say whether it was a mock-up or not. I can tell you that the races and the race that was shown was absolutely real. Okay, and right off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what the name of it is. I gotta go back and just look at my notes again. Because right now, like this is the one book that many of you have seen. Okay, I'm working on volume two right now. Now this one, Races of the Worlds, this has 59 individual races I've dealt with. And I think volume two right now has another 40. I'm hoping to have volume two out by the end of the year. Something to keep in mind, I, I've been asked a number of times, well, I talk as, you know, I, the way I talk about the aliens or the ancient races, people have asked, well, do you prefer them over the, over humans? And the answer is, no, I really don't, because I actually have found they are very similar in virtually every aspect except the, the extent of their toys. But I found that most of the races are very similar in, if you will, their spiritual evolution. They still have wars, they still have jealousy, they still have conflict. Okay, which means they are not that much different than what humans are. They just happen to have better toys. Okay, now I absolutely encourage you to drop in tonight and listen to the show, participate in the show. If you're in the chat room, there is there are a few questions I will not answer, but you know a couple of them, of them that I just don't is I don't answer about what's going on with my personal life. Okay, very very little of it, and certainly not anybody that I am dealing with. Okay, I don't use other people's names. I don't tell where things are located. So if you're hoping that you're going to get an answer by putting me on the spot on the radio, it doesn't work that way. We developed a, a stubborn streak that was just something bizarre. However, questions about what you're going through, about what you may be experiencing and don't know how to deal with, absolutely ask the question. Because the reality is, whatever you're going through, the odds are somebody out there listening is going through something very similar. Okay. Now, when we talk about social structure, I was asked about the names that I end up using. And most of them are ones that I've worked out. Either they're what I got told or they're the closest I can come to, you know, to a name. Sometimes I've literally had to piece the name together. But I forget the, I, again, I forget the name that I was given. One of the, one of the call of the viewers asked if I had heard of this one particular name and there was a name that was a mile long. I did actually make a note in it to get back to her. And I really appreciated the question because when I told her, I, I just don't know if I know it by that name, but give me some specs on it and give me what you know. And I'll tell you if I know it by another name. Well, as it turned out, what she was describing was Awara. 
what I know as Awara, which really is an off-world version of the Yeti, or the or Bigfoot, or the Abominable Snowman, whatever you want to call it. I don't always know the races by the name that other people know them by. But then that's because I've learned them face to face. I haven't learned them by reading by reading treaties by other people. Okay, I've learned them firsthand. And this, like I got asked one day why people should believe what I say. And you know, the reality is I can't give you an answer to that. In all fairness, I didn't know whether to believe it or not. And I argued the point for a coon's age until, and I really gave up arguing it, once my father came out on his deathbed and told me that all of my memories were real. Now, before you ask that, no, it was not done with a whole pile of witnesses. Like I said, I cannot prove what I believe. I can only tell you what I've been through. And I can tell you it does get easier to deal with, or more to the point, you learn how to cope with it. Okay. Now, the nice part about it is where it comes to the different races. Okay. Now, I split different races in two groups. I split them into the off-worlders, which are the ones that come from off the planet. They did not originate here on Earth, and they've come here to visit from wherever. Okay. And then I've got the ancient races, which are races that evolved here on Earth. Okay, so this said, my memories come from a very long time ago. And from everything I've talked to other people about, okay, when we've got discussing it, I've been given so much feedback from people. And no, I'm not going to be giving people names of who gave me feedback. That ain't the way that I work. Okay. It's just simply an issue of, I know what I'm dealing with. I've been to enough psychiatrists and psychologists over the years to find out, according to the licensed professionals on Earth, I'm perfectly fine. I just have a different way of looking at the world. And there's many of you out there that have a different way of looking at the world. Okay, mind you, as my father used to put it, it would be a real boring place if we all saw the world the same way. So, absolutely, if you've got, if there's a race that you're dealing with, or if there's a memory you're dealing with, drop me a, a line at one of the contact points below this video, and I will do my best to get back to you, okay? Most of the time, I manage to get back, but if, I, if you don't hear from me for a while, drop me another line. Things can get a little on the hectic side for me. Okay, not making excuses, just telling you the way it is. I mean, right now I'm in the middle of writing 31 different books, spanning across five different genres. Okay, so I've got my hands full. So with that in mind, okay, not right now, but I will be, I'm going to get back into a routine and covering various different races that are out there. If you've got a preference to races or if you've got a question around a given race, that you'd like to learn about, drop me a line, let me know, okay? Give us a thumbs up on the on this video. Subscribe to my channel to get the rest of the information that's coming out, because there is a staggering amount of it set to come out. But something to keep in mind with regards to the other races, okay? I am not the only person out there. Now, like I said, I've dealt with, in a, I think I've documented something like about 90 of them in between the two books. But I know of about 2,500 member races of the Galactic Consortium. Okay, so if there's other people out there that have met other races, don't be surprised. Okay, man is not as much alone as people think. Nor has it been for a very long time. But this world, as we have discussed in the past in various other videos, and as I definitely have discussed, and you'll just have to take my word for it, I've definitely discussed with the Grand Council, this world belongs to the humans. Humans being the, the dominant sentient life form, dominant sentient technologically advanced life form to evolve on this planet makes humans the caretakers. And according to the consortium's laws, that's the way it stays. 
So much as some of you out there are not are not necessarily human. You may not be. You may be. You know, half breed. You may be hybrid. Okay. You may feel different as all get out, and there may be reasons for it. Okay. Now, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't tell you whether you're nuts or not, but I can tell you this. I Virtually every psychologist, psychiatrist, counselor I've talked to and asked this one question to have given, given me a universally, you know, essentially they've given me the same answer. The question I asked is how do you tell if you're losing your mind? Well, the way you tell, according to every one of the ones I've talked to, without exception, if you're asking, am I losing your mind, my mind, you're not. Because if you were losing your mind, you wouldn't know. So hopefully that will help some of you. Okay, this particular video I'm going to keep real short. Okay, because it's just a question of getting back in order. And I am going to get back to doing the, the videos on races of the worlds to get into more of the, of the details, to get into the different races, to get into some of their guidelines that, that I'm that I am permitted to share okay but understand one thing very very necessary none of them are here to conquer earth none of them are here to take over any aspect of the government okay they just aren't and to be clear, if any of them do deliver, if any of the individuals deliberately get into into an office position, into a governmental position, the consortium has a standing order. Those people get bodily removed. Okay, which by the way does sound as fatal as what it really is. Okay, because they are not permitted to to interfere in the evolution of this planet. They are allowed to participate, they're allowed to, you know, to interact, but they are not allowed to interfere. This is why the abductions that go on are try they try and keep things minimal as far as the disruption goes. Because of the speed that mankind is evolving, and the fact that mankind is naturally, number one, aggressive, number two, fearful, and number three, predatory, okay, Humans are nomadic. This is why humans have already gotten off the planet. I, I hate that word, but I'll have to find a different way to get around that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one at this. Yes, this is a short one, but join me tonight on Spaced Out Radio and in one of the multiple chat rooms. Now, I know they're on, on Facebook. I know they're on Spreaker. I know they're on Twitter, and I suspect they're on a number of others. However, hope, hope to see you there, and until, until we talk, well, we'll be talking on, on the radio tonight, 9, 9 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's on the internet. Okay, so until next time, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.